If you follow these five principles, you will be able to prescribe most appropriate antibiotic to your patient. Prescribing antibiotic is like fighting a war with the bacteria and to win any war, you should have a proper strategy. So friends, this video is very important because here you are going to learn how to form a proper antibiotic strategy. So watch this video till the end and if you have come for the first time on this channel, then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical videos. So friends, let's start the video. So the first principle of a proper antibiotic therapy is that the concerned bacteria should be sensitive to your antibiotics. Friends, bacteria are classified into various ways like either gram positive and gram negative or either aerobic or anaerobic. So if you are going for the empirical therapy, you should know what type of bacteria are the common causative agents of a particular infection. For example, if you are treating the skin infection where gram positive bacteria are dominant, then you should prescribe the antibiotics that are active against gram positive bacteria. And if you are treating the urinary tract infection, where gram negative bacteria are common, then you should prescribe such antibiotics that are active against the gram negative organisms. It is like this. For example, if you have to blow up the headquarter building of your enemy and you just have machine gun with you, then it will be of no use. For that, you will require the proper missiles. So friends, in this way, this is the first principle that your bacteria should be sensitive to the antibiotics. Now the second principle of antibiotic therapy is that your antibiotic must reach the target site. For example, if there is meningitis, then your antibiotic must cross the blood brain barrier. If there is a urinary tract infection, then you should prescribe such antibiotic which get maximally excreted unchanged in urine. If you have bloodstream infection, then you should prescribe the antibiotic that is water soluble. Because if the antibiotic is water soluble, that in, then it will stay for a longer time in blood or if you prescribe the lipid soluble antibiotic, it will get diffused into the tissues. So if there is an infection in the various type of tissues, then you should prescribe the antibiotic that is more lipid soluble so that it stays in the tissue for the long time. An analogy for this could be if you want to attack the building of an enemy and you have three rockets with you. One rocket has a range of 500 kilometers, other of 800 kilometers and the third of 1500 kilometers. And the distance between you and the target side is 1000 kilometers. So friends, here you can only use that missile which has a range of 1500 kilometers because that is the only missile that can reach the target. So in this way, this is the second principle of antibiotic therapy that your antibiotic must reach the target site. Now the third principle is that whether you want to use a bactericidal antibiotic or a bacteriostatic antibiotic. So cidal antibiotic means the antibiotic that cause the complete destruction of the bacterial cell and the bacteriostatic antibiotic is the one where it prevents the proliferation or the multiplication of the bacteria and here you depend on the immune system of the patient. So where you will use the bactericidal antibiotic, you will use bactericidal, bactericidal antibiotic when there is a serious infection. For example, if there is sepsis or there is meningitis or there is um, endocarditis or the 
immunity of patient is very weak as in HIV infection. So in these cases, you will go for the sidal type of antibody. It is like this, depending upon how much amount of destruction you want at the target site, you will decide what type of warhead you will fix on the missile. So friends, this is the third principle of antibiotic therapy. That is whether you want to use a bactericidal or a bacteriostatic antibiotic, depending upon the seriousness of the infection. Now, the fourth principle is that you have to see if there is any contraindication to the antibiotic that you have chosen. For example, consider this antibiotic, amikacin. This antibiotic is nephrotoxic as well as it is ototoxic. So, if you have to use this antibiotic in a patient of a renal disease, then there is a contraindication and you cannot use this antibiotic in that patient. It is like this. If you have to attack the enemy building and there is an important asset that belongs to you by the side of the building, then you will have to choose such missile that will pinpointly attack only the target building and your asset will be saved. So, in this way, this is the fourth principle of antibiotic prescription that is the seeing the whether there is contraindication for that antibiotic or not. Now, the last and the fifth principle is that how will you administer the antibiotic to the patient? It is like what type of vehicle you are going to use for delivering the missile, whether you are going to use a rocket launcher or you are going to attack the enemy by the aerial route. In case of antibiotic, you have to decide whether you will go by IV route or oral route. If the infection is mild and patient is to be treated in OPD, then oral route is preferred. And if the infection is serious, then we go for the IV route. And friends, one more important thing is that if you are practicing in developing countries like India, then you have to also consider the cost of the antibiotic because many patients in such countries are poor and if you can achieve the desired results with a low cost antibiotic, then nothing like it. So friends, these are the five principles of antibiotic strategy. If you follow these principles properly, then I am sure that you will be able to manage any type of infection in your patient. If you find this video helpful, then also share with your friends, with your batchmates, because they would also like to learn how to form a proper antibiotic strategy. And friends, if you have come for the first time on this channel, then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights. See you in the next video. Till then, thank you.